Every January, tech lovers gather in Las Vegas for the big consumer electronics show. Some of those devices make it to market. Some no, of them. No. Kins with nerds on call to look at some of the favorites. Hey, that's right, guys. I'm standing by with the nerd on calls, Ryan Eldridge, our good buddy, driving back in to help us out. Good to see you again. How you been? Hey, I've been great. Yeah, what do you got? A lot of things are happening with this whole uh, the tech industry and a lot of things coming out this year. Well, uh, CES just happened a couple of weeks ago. Yep. So one of the biggest things was Ultrabook. So back in 2008, they came out with the MacBook Air, the lightest uh, computer ever made. Well, now uh, Intel's decided that they're getting into the game, and so the whole show was nothing but ultrabooks this is the dell ultrabook it was my favorite one it's a carbonate uh, background it's a, a 13 inch screen this thing is less than three pounds i7 processor super super fast yeah this thing is amazing um cost wise is it comparable to the others or is it more expensive about a grand now there okay. there are some ultrabooks that go all the way to 15 1600 dollars yeah. but you want to stay in that sub thousand dollars because these exactly. things are really light and portable really easy to break yes so, exactly it's trying to stay cheap one of the best TVs we saw oh, while we were there. This is awesome. This was a 55-inch OLED TV. Look how thin that is. That's literally three credit cards thick. And this that's how many is, credit cards you need to pay off. There is no, yeah, there is no backlight on this screen. It's 16 pounds. No. You actually need a second connector just to, if you see down here, where you have to connect all your cords and stuff. Um, this thing is so amazing. You can literally put it on a wall and just not even notice it's there. And is this available now? You can go to any this store be, or is it still? Most likely in the summer, maybe okay. closer to Christmas, but that's why we're previewing all this really cool technology. This is amazing. So yeah. no more big, heavy, you know, 20-pound TVs, exactly. 16 and a half pounds. We'll take a couple of those in the uh, studio, right, Stevie? <laughs> you guys get tired of picking up those big monitors and putting them on the stage. We'll use that. This is one of the coolest phones we saw. Now, Nokia, we kind of wrote them off last year. Yeah. They, they, they were the number one manufacturer of phones. They were kind of overtaken by uh, Android. They made a partnership with Windows, and nobody really likes Windows phones, but this one was amazing. Uh, it comes in all kinds of really cool colors. The tile screen layout, yeah. which is what the new Windows 8 will look like mm -hmm. coming in the summer here. This is a really cool phone. Okay, this is what I really want to talk about. Here's our Star Trek technology, though. Imagine a printer. This is about $2,000 to buy this printer. Imagine a printer that can make stuff. So just like in Star Trek, where you could walk up and say, hey, I'd like a, a, a cocktail or whatever, yeah. and they would make it for you. You can make cars, whistles. Okay, that's crazy all talk. All kinds of mechanic stuff. So it, two grand for this. Yes. And I can actually, it can actually make things that I can pick it's, up. It's a little powder make tactile compound. things that I can help. Yeah, it's a little powder compound that when combined with the, uh, with another compound, it makes hard plastic. So you could make all of your Christmas presents this year. Wow. How crazy is that? I'd love to be able to make a whistle. <laughs> Who doesn't want to be able to make a whistle at a moment's notice? <laughs> Thank you so much, Ryan. Always good to see you. We have so much more coming up in the 9 o'clock hour. Of course, you can find Nerds on Call at 4315 Marconi Avenue. It's in Sacramento. They can also be reached at 800-919-NERD. NERD. N-E-R-D. Guys, back to you. The most popular nerds ever. No kidding. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thanks, Ken. Cool Thank stuff. You.